Tonight from Israel, a member of the Israeli War Cabinet saying the release of the hostages should come before the killing of the enemy. He's now calling for new elections for a new leader. And tonight here, we hear the harrowing story of a young son held hostage by Hamas, freed, but his father still being held. Matt Gupman is in Israel. Tonight, if 13-year-old Yigil Yaakov fears for his father's life, that's because he knows what he's going through. Yigil himself had been a hostage in Gaza for over 50 days until he was released in November. On October 7th, entire families were carted into Gaza. Yigil, his brother, his father, Yair, and stepmother all taken. His mother, Renana, on the phone with her boys when they were kidnapped, hearing everything. The last thing I heard him say on the phone, when the phone was still on, was, uh, you contact me, I'm too young. Yigil says they marched him out. He says, they took me out with a knife, held to my throat, and I was in my boxers. They put me on a motorcycle. For 30 days, he was held alone by a family in Gaza. At one point, the Islamic Jihad produced a proof of life video of him. He says, I hope that I come back as soon as possible. Just before Yigil was released, he reunited with his stepmother and his brother. What was it like to see your brother again after 52 days? <laughs> Crazy. The two walking hand in hand to the Red Cross. But the boy's father, Yair, who was wounded on October 7th, still being held. We want these people to get back home alive. And David, that Israeli war cabinet minister you mentioned, whose son was killed in the fighting, now openly criticizing Netanyahu, saying Hamas is not going to be defeated, that the only way to bring the hostages back home is through a deal with Hamas. And when asked by an interviewer whether the Israeli public was being misled by uh, the Israeli government, he said yes. David. Yeah, that made immediate news overnight in Israel. Matt Gutman tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.